हेलो फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू टेक विद अस ऑटोसर इज डिजाइन टू बी स्केलेबल एंड मॉड्यूलर अलाउिंग सॉफ्टवेयर कंपोनेंट्स टू बी डेवलप्ड इंडिपेंडेंटली एंड देन इंटीग्रेटेड इनटू अ लार्जर सिस्टम व्हाट डू वी मीन व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट एन ऑटोसर स्टैक इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट ऑटोसर स्टैक a stack is a collection of modules which have different roles and responsibility and work collectively to fulfill an application layer request a stack is a bundle of modules which can be present in different autosar sublayers and are intended to do some common functionality in autosar we have different kind of stacks for example most common stacks are communication stack memory stack diagnostic stack crypto stack and so on under com stack also we have separate stack for can lin flexray and ethernet com stack or communication stack is a software stack that is used to implement various types of communication protocol in the autosar architecture it facilitates a common interface between the application layer and the underlying communication hardware More or less Autosar architecture follows similar kind of implementation for different stacks. So once you understand the basic structure of any one stack with this understanding you are good to go and will able to explore any other stack. In the last lecture we had discussed the three sub layers of BSW software which are service layer, ECU abstraction layer and microcontroller abstraction layer. we also understood the responsibility of each layer for com stack let's try to understand what are the modules are part of each of these layers com service layer provides a set of communication services that are used by the application layer to send and receive the data under com service layer we have couple of modules which are responsible for com request management state and network management These modules are like COM, which is responsible to provide a uniform access to the network. It also does the job of packing and unpacking of transmitted and received frame. Then we have PDUR. PDU means protocol data unit or a network specific data frame. It is responsible to route the PDU to the respective bus specific interface module. com m and can sm are responsible to manage the state of the bus state means availability of the bus for transmission for example if bus is available for transmission then only rte will invoke com modules to transmit the data nm or network management is also an interesting topic in autosar nm is to manage the state of the network based on the current network state ECU can decide whether it has to wake up and participate in the communication or can go to sleep or a low power mode in vehicle we have various partial networks which gets activated only when certain criteria or conditions are met this all activities are managed by can nm module which we will cover in detail separately then we have com hardware abstraction layer the responsibility of this module is to provide interface for all available can channels can if is responsible to map or reference the correct hardware object to the pdu all the available can channels should be registered with can if module it maintains pointer to all available channels and as per the data it invokes the particular channel for transmission can driver is present in the mkl layer drivers are provided by the semiconductor manufacturer and has all the physical addressing it is responsible to access bus io ports provide read write apis to access microcontroller peripherals and registers so friends here in this video we got a broader understanding about autosar com stack We have discussed the responsibilities of different module present in the com stack. We will talk more about this in subsequent videos. Till then thanks for watching hope you like the content.